Hi everybody, I'm Lisa Young Sutton and welcome to my channel. Now, someone just asked me this morning um, about determining pregnancy in uh, the uh, petite letter mom. And I thought, you know what? I had a GT that I laid a few years ago. Um, and it was, it, it came right to my mind because it was one where the woman did not even know she was pregnant until I laid this spread and brought it to her attention and asked her and turns out she was. <laughs> I mean, really, the whole thing was my idea. <laughs> she should have named that child after me. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I want to just show you very quickly. This was a method of distance grand tableau. And um, I can't remember all the particulars of this spread, um, just that this is one where I said, um, are you pregnant by any chance? And she was like, no. Oh, wait, well, I could be. Oh my God. Well, <laughs> it was that kind of thing. Um, and you know, it, it was a, a reading for a married couple. Um, and she was the, the primary, um, significator in the spread. Okay. But my point is what cards do you need to see to determine if someone is pregnant? you can't just go by the child card because the child means many things. You know, it's new beginnings, um, a fresh start of taking the first steps towards something, um, trustworthiness, immaturity, playfulness. I mean, you know, come on, it can mean so many things. So just seeing the lady and the, and the child does not say pregnant lady. All right. Typically I want to see the stork and the child together. Okay, if they are together with the lady, you know, it, which is what we should see if we have all the cards out in a grand tableau, so much the better. I also often see the birds there too. Now the birds um, traditionally represents the announcement of a pregnancy, right? But it's also the card of a couple or two, so it can represent the mother and the child. Um, I also see it as nesting, which is a common occurrence that takes place in pregnant women, right? Um, but, you know, if you think about the traditional meaning of the birds, it's um, hardships to overcome of short duration, which describes the nine months of pregnancy, okay? So here we have, I mean, look at her column. We have the birds, the stork, and the child. And then I saw other things like, you know, the, the riders, uh, you know, bringing her this news, which, you know, actually just came uh, from me, right? And, and there's the house right there. We had the tree in the sun for morning sickness. Um, she, she wasn't aware that she was pregnant, but it was already started. It had already, you know, it was already set in motion. You know, um, yeah, you know, the, the husband was very happy about it, but of course very nervous and was starting to worry about all different things, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, now for small spreads, let me just show you. Let's see, can we see this? Wait, I zoomed too much. Oh, this, this new phone is so sensitive, so I have to get used to this. Okay, so... Here we have, a, a few, I just laid these out um, to show you a few examples. If you are using a small spread and you are specifically asking the question, is she pregnant, right? Well, think about that. That's going to depend, the answer is going to depend on whether or not she wants to be. Because if she wants to be, then positive cards are going to, because you're asking a yes, no, are, are going to really give you a yes answer. But you still want to see some cards related to your uh, question. Now, here, this was the first one I laid out, which is pretty um, straightforward, right? Here we have, you know, she's asking, is she pregnant? Or he's asking, is she pregnant? And you have lady, child, and stork, right? Um, you could also see something like, you know, the, the stork is uh, delivering um, a child to the house, right? Remember the stork is, um, represents delivery, right? The birth, but also a new addition to the household, okay? 
Um, you could have something like this, you know, if you just asked, again, if you asked, um, you know, is she pregnant, right? And that would say yes. Um, here, oh, this is one I, I see actually quite often. This is the connection of the sperm and the egg. And sometimes I'll see it like this, the moon representing the egg, right? It's like the connection or the ways could go there too. I didn't pull the ways out, but sometimes, wait, where's the way? Sometimes you'll see the, um, the ways as the connector, you know, the uh, crossroads, right? As the connector of the, the sperm and the egg. Where is the ways in this? Okay, here it is, right? There's the ways card. So you can see it's like, well, this usually it's a, it's a path going right and left. Anyway, okay, be that as it may, okay, and then, you know, again, if this is someone who uh, really wants to be pregnant, and um, maybe she's asking, am I pregnant, and this is like, um, yeah, the stars have aligned, this has taken shape already, right, this is um, what's progressing, this is mama bear, right, and there's success. So, you know, those are just some ideas of what you might see in a small spread if you're asking that specific question, okay? I mean, if you're just laying three cards down asking, what do I need to know today? Would any of these tell you? <laughs> you need to know that you're pregnant. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> so, um, but if you're using a grand tableau where you have all cards down, you can more clearly see the idea of pregnancy. Okay, so that's it. I hope that answered uh, the questions uh, for those who just asked this of me this morning. And um, as always, um, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my Facebook group, Lisa Loves Lenormand, so on and so forth. And uh, don't forget that uh, the method of distance is um, covered in my second book and uh, the Petit Lenormand in general is covered in my first book. So if you don't have those, grab them. Okay, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.